hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel today i am showing some exercise for rivet interview questions and answers so in that uh, i will show you how to uh, some uh, interview questions i will show you like uh, the word of rivets and uh, the file extensions of the rivet so what are the answer is uh, for the questions so the descriptions also i mention over here the first question is like uh, the word rivet is come from where which which stands this stands for which one so the answer is uh, reverse instantly so the des description is coming um, uh, here like uh, it, it's a soft which software it's developed so it's software developed by autodesk and primarily it was used to engineers architects and uh, other construction professionals for the building information the answer is b and the next question is like uh, the file extension for the rivet is which is the extension for the uh, rivet file so it was uh, some other uh, options are here so it is the correct answer is dot rvt rvt means rivet file then uh, the extension of rivet file the save the project so it is create the file extension store all the project data including 3d models drawing schedules and other relevant information so rfa means it's a family related extension so this is the correct answer uh, the correct answer is uh, rvt and the next question is the what is the rivet is product of which one so it's showing like a, maybe you will be get some options like this so the correct answer is a the rivet is a product of autodesk Autodesk and it's developed by Rivet Technology Corporation, which was acquired by Autodesk in 2002. Since then, AutoCAD, Autodesk has con continued to develop the enhanced Rivet software, making um, the leading platform for the building information modeling for architecture and engineering construction industry (AEC). So the next question is, uh, what is uh, what is Rivet software and what is the purpose of uh, this software? So the answer is like a rivet is a building information modeling software used to design, construct and maintain building and infrastructure. It's aimed to create digital buildings or structure model and provide compromise uh, uh, information about uh, components, materials and systems. And another question is like uh, what are the different types of files in the rivet? So uh, the different type of files are in the project files, family files, template files and shared files. Uh, the first one is a rivet file dot uh, rvt file. These are the rivet project files. They contain all the information related to the project including 3D models, floor plans, elevation, schedules and more. And the second one is the dot rfa files. rfa file is the rivet family file which contains specific building components or elements such as door, windows, lighting, furniture. Um, and other equipments, electrical equipments, uh, mechanical equipments, uh, plumbing fittings, these all are come under uh, rivet family files, RFA files. And next is R RT file, dot R RT file is the template file. So we are starting a new project, we are using a template file, using a template file like a system template and electrical template and plumbing template such as and uh, it's uh, it's uh, um, uh, the views and families that can help streamline in the uh, the project setup process and next is rft file dot rft file rft file is the rivet family template file so we need to create a family means you need to take the rft file from that and we just need to save it as a uh, rfa file so the next question is what are the advantages of using a rivet or a traditional CAD software? So the rivet al allows design and architect to work in a collaborative environment and create 3D models that can be used for stimulate and visualize buildings performance. It's more efficient than traditional CAD software. Automatically it will give the 3D and all the views and a lot of uh, useful for using this rivet software. Easily we can visualize the things and the th we can see the clashes and other all the uh, systems we can see it in the rivet 3d model so next question is what are the difference between project file and family file so the project file is used 
to create a building model and contain all the data related to the project. While the family file is means uh, create individual components like uh, uh, lighting, uh, power sockets, and electrical uh, equipments, mechanical equipments, and furniture, window. That is the that is the difference for the project file and uh, family file. Family file we need to insert into the project file. Project file then uh, we can develop the 3D model. And what what is the work set in Revit? So work set is important in Revit. Work set Revit is grouping of element that one or more users can edit. So if you are working through like lot of people, so then easily they can manage through the work set. In Revit work set features that allows multiple users to collaborate on the same project simultaneously. So in one time they can easily use this. Uh, um, uh, easily use uh, in, uh, in different different system easily use uh, we, we can use it in a group group works that help organize and manage the elements within Revit project dividing them into logical group and each works that can assign the one or more uses allowing them to edit the element contained with the within that works that while other uses work uh, on different parts of the projects so that is the works set and next is the view template what is the view template in Revit so the answer is like a view template uh, as a set of predefined settings that can be applied views in a project. These settings include visibility graphics and other things. So once you set up the uh, view template, so easily you can control the views and everything. So this is uh, for the, this is very useful in a Revit template creations. In a Revit, I already made some videos for that one. And another one is the what is the schedule in Revit. So schedule in Revit means uh, it is a uh, presentation, presentation of data from the project. So what are the, the quantity you can take it and a um, lot of uh, properties of elements, levels and uh, length of uh, things and everything you can get it from the sh creating schedule. So automatically Revit will create the schedules if you need to give the proper uh, input over there. So then you can create the uh, schedule uh, in a Revit. So other question is like uh, uh, what is the Revit parameter? So parameters, parameters is itself like uh, we, we can in, we can input lot of uh, data over there. So Revit parameter is a value define the properties and characteristics of the elements in the Revit model. So there are several types of parameters: type parameter, instant parameter, shared parameter, and project parameters. Type parameters: these parameters are defined that element type level apply all instance that type within the project for example width of the height and thickness you can make it on uh, the type parameter and the instant parameters also we can uh, it's, a, uh, it's a specific individual instant for the elements within the project that they allow to customization of the properties on per instant base without affecting other instance of the same type St shared parameters is the another parameter shared parameter custom parameter that can be added to element store additional project and specific information shared parameters are typically defined external parameter like a text or dot c csv shared across the multiple multiple project we can we once you uh, set the shared parameter we can use in a multiple project project parameters are the custom parameters that apply to all elements within the project they are created and managed at the project level and can be used to organize and uh, get categorized elements based on the specific criteria. So next is the view range. What is the view range in Revit? So the view range is the set of parameters determine visible and cut plane of the view controlling visibility and elements of the uh, elements within the views. So there will be like a top and a cut plane and bottom. So here is the image is showing for that. So that will help to uh, control the things in different levels. So that is for the view range. And what is the difference between uh, Revit component uh, family and system family? So the Revit component family is a user created family representing specific object in our component. While system family is the built in family representing entire system such as the wall or roof. It's, it's really the means of the system family means it's, 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 uh, it's in the, uh, it's in the built in or, or Templates, so uh, so you can get it the, all the walls like some some other and the component families user created. We can create that one separately. 
and how do you, how do you add the parameter for to rivet family to add parameter rivet family open family editor and use the family types dialog to add new parameter then configure parameter property desired and uh, other things like what is the rivet family parameter so the answer is the rivet fa family parameter is a specific family and can be used to control behavior and properties of the family so the conclu that uh, this is the uh, this is a slide for uh, for this question and answer it will continue like i will make another video for this one another some questions and everything so this the, if if we, if this useful just subscribe my channel thanks for watching thank you and i will share you if you need this uh, ppt file Thanks for watching. Thank you.